locking and dropping YouTube. It's your boy J Les back at it again with another Black Ops 3 video for you today. And today, you guys are gonna notice that your boy he reset his stats. And you're gonna be like, J Les, you tripping, bruh. You was level 400. You had hero gear. You had my fucking dark matter. You tripping. You tripping, bruh. Yeah, you know, I might be tripping. I don't know, man. When it gets to the end of the uh, the Call of Duty life cycle for the game, I tend to get bored. And um, it's always the time where I like to test how good I really am at the game. So, basically, what I like to do is I like to reset my stats and then pretty much play really, really try hard to see how, how my KD would look if I went try hard every game all game you know every time i got on because you know with me going for dark matter and me going for hero gear um it affected my kd to some degree i'm not gonna say that i completely shit the bed and got wrecked but when you go for the combat kill for the combat knife you're gonna you're gonna be super negative you know what i mean just off the strength of of you having to try to get close enough to stab people and you know so you might go 20 and 40 or something like that you know which 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 takes a toll on your kd so before i reset my stats i believe i had a um a 1.68 kd uh and now that i reset my stats i believe i have like a 2.20 something so i'm gonna try to maintain the 2.0 kd um, just because I, I want to prove to myself that I am a 2, day, two KD player, and I know that the life cycle kind of is, is ending, you know, and of course, with me going into Infinite Warfare and COD 4 Remastered, um, you know, there's going to be a lot more series to, to come, uh, I'm probably going to do like a Master Prestige, um, a Master Prestige series where I try to get to Master Prestige as quick as possible. Um, and I'll show you guys my stats and stuff like that. So, I mean, hey, if you guys are interested, if you guys want to recommend something for a possible series when it comes to Infinite Warfare or COD 4 Remastered, uh, just leave a comment down below, man. Just take a few seconds out of your day, comment, let your boy know what's really popping in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'll make it happen, man. Um, so I'm pumping out these these couple of videos. Actually, while you watch this, I'll be on vacation at Rehoboth Beach. Yeah. So um, my family and I we uh, we take a yearly family vacation. So this is like our last hoorah, I believe. Um, my grandmother's in her golden years. So um, this is probably going to be the last um, family vacation that the whole family goes on and so it's kind of sad yet extremely exciting because you know i'm excited like i'm gonna be there with all my family you know we're gonna it's gonna be like it's gonna be like it, it always is every year fun you know shit talking good laughs good food good time so i'm really looking forward to it but it's kind of sad because it's like from now on you know any vacation i want to go on it's it's going to be with me and my beautiful future wife and not necessarily with all my family members where well, when it comes to family you know how it is like if you're around each other too much like you become irritated of them but it's like you always appreciate um having them in, in your life so it's like even though sometimes like my brother and you know my, even my mom you know i love them to death but you know they could be irritating. What family member isn't? You know, I'm sure I'm inter I'm irritating to them as well. So it's like, but it's nice to, to be able to spend time because I don't see my mom that often because uh, I live on my own. And um, I don't see my brother that often because, you know, he has his own life. He's, you know, doing his own thing. So it's it, it's nice to be able to, to get together and um, have these kind of moments that you'll cherish for the rest of your life. So, but I'm hoping that I don't have like an official super duper top of the line vlogging camera, but I'm hoping to be able to use my iPhone and be able to cap capture some footage and stuff of, of our vacation and, you know, mashing it together when I get back and uploading it and 
Hopefully you guys will like that as well. Um, so this, so let me talk about the gameplay real quick. Um, so I'm using the CUDA, suppress, quick draw, and stock. I'm using Afterburner, Six Sense, Fast Hands, and Blast Suppressor. And I'm, I've started to use Heat Wave a lot recently, especially since I unlocked it. And, um, and I'm telling you, I used to be a huge kinetic fan, huge kinetic armor fan. But recently, I, I'm starting to really love Heat Wave. And the, the reason why I think I'm, I'm, I'm loving Heat Wave more than kinetic is because you get Heat Wave more often than you get kinetic. And they're both just as useful. And, you know, it's so, I know for me, it's annoying when someone pops Heat Wave on me and just obliterates me because, like, I can't, you know, I'm stunned. You know, and it's like you're, you're, like, right here, boom. There's nothing that guy could do. And the other guy just had slow reaction time. And it's just like, damn, like, no matter, no matter what you do, you can't do anything. You know what I'm saying? It's like you get heat waved. It's like, bam, you're immobile. And you have to hope that one of your teammates around you who didn't get heat waved can pick up the kill and save your life. And, and kinetic's more of a self thing. You know, when you pop it, you give yourself the reassurance, hey, I have enough um, health to where I can challenge this guy or I can make a move on him. And, you know, with my aim on and stuff like that, I'll be able to kill him. So, but it simply comes down to the charge time. Because I don't really use overclock um, since I reset my stats. I normally kind of just stick to to using Afterburner and Sixth Sense. Because Sixth Sense, it's a cheesy-ass perk. But that shit is super useful. Because I'm, I'll, there's a moment in this gameplay where I had a, a, a deep to deep moment. But it, but with with six cents, I was able to recover from the deep to deep moment, and I was able to, to to clean up the kill. So yeah, that's why I like Heat Wave more, man. It, it's just strictly off the preference of those were my, kinetic and Heat Wave were my top two favorite um, abilities to begin with. But I always just favored kinetic just because it's like with kinetic, you know. If someone shot you in the head, you could still die. But, you know, most most COD players, for the most part, aim for the chest or for the gut. You know, some somewhere in the torso. And, um, and so that's why I, I like to use kinetic. Because even if they shoot in that area, um, you know, you still have... Uh, now right here's my deet to deet. So I pull out my thing and I'm like, oh, oh shit, he's right there. Fuck. Yeah. So six cents really came in because I looked at my mini map and I saw the red thing after I came out of the, uh, the, the wraith and I was like, oh shit. So I turned and was able to kill him. I still ended up dying, but, um, nevertheless, I cleaned up the kill. So, uh, I hope everybody's having a fantastic summer. Um, so you'll probably be watching this. Like I said, when I'm on vacation, I'm going to try my damnedest. To, to record some video footage for, for you guys um, while I'm on vacation and kind of smash it into like a vlogging thing. I don't know. We'll see what happens. You know how it is. Vacations get kind of crazy. All right. Well, that's going to do it for the video, man. Your boy went off on this joint. Please comment down below what you thought, and I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side.